Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to create this button which changes the text when we hover over that. So here's the demo. Let me just hover over this button. Right now the text is called test. And when we hover over this, the text changes to completed. And uh, when we move the cursor out of the button, it changes back to test. So we can see we also have the smooth transition between uh, both the texts. So this is what we're going to do in this video. We will change the text of the button when we hover over it. So let's get started. Right here I opened up a blank project and I'm using VS code to write the code. So let's go ahead and create a new file and uh, we'll name it index.html and we'll create one more file and I will just name it style.css right so let me just make this bigger right let's start with the index.html file so in VS Code you have this shortcut where you can just type exclamation and press tab and you have this basic HTML5 code right now let's link our CSS file over here so we'll just type link and press tab and in the editor, we will just type style.css, which is the name of our CSS file. Right now, in the body, I'll just create uh, this button. We'll just create a container division to hold this button, and we'll also have an h2. So let's go ahead and create a division with the class of buttons container. And in that, we will have an h2, and we just type text changing button and for the button itself we will create an anchor tag and for the href we will just type hash for now you can go ahead and change this to whatever you are using this button for right uh, we'll also give it a class of btn and for this button specifically we'll create a different class so we'll just create a class called test completed so the button class will always be there but uh, this is a different kind of button so we will also have this extra class over here so for all the buttons we will have this button class and for this particular button we will have this extra class all right now the thing you need to remember is that you don't have to type the text over here the text will be added in the css so let's go ahead and open this in our browser so i have this extension called live server installed on vs code so you can just right click over here in the HTML file and click on open with live server. Alright, so here we can see our uh, H2 is being displayed and uh, if we just type something over here, we can see we also have this uh, anchor tag. But we'll just remove the text from here and uh, let's go to CSS and uh, let's start styling our uh, page. First of all, let's uh, add a basic styling to the H2. So we'll type buttons, container h2 and uh, we'll give it a font family of roboto sans serif and if you don't have this font installed in your system then uh, this won't work so for that you have to go to the google fonts and uh, get the link of the font and add it to your uh, head section in the html and uh, then it will work so if you're using this style for a real website then uh, you have to copy the link of the font over here because uh, all your visitors uh, may not have this font installed on their system so you have to copy the link of the font over here let me just do it right here so here i have opened up google fonts and uh, this is a roboto font let's go ahead and uh, click on that and uh, we'll just select the regular one and also one more which is uh, the bold one Right now that we have selected that, let's go to this uh, button called View Your Selected Families. And we can see the regular and the bold fonts are displayed over here. And uh, down here we have the link. So just copy this line of code from here and paste it over here in the head section of your HTML. All right now we can use uh, the font without any problems. All right, we'll also give it a margin bottom because uh, right now we can see we have a margin between uh, 
the text and this button we can see we have a lot of margin over here so let's uh, set the margin uh, bottom to zero and uh, let's delete this all right now let's style the btn class so just type btn and uh, we'll set the display to inline block now for displaying the text of our button we'll be using pseudo elements called after and before so first of all let's add the text so we'll just type btn and we'll also add the other class which is test completed and uh, to use the after selector you have to type colon colon after and uh, here we'll just type content and uh, here we'll type test so now here we can see the button and the text so let's go ahead and continue the styling of the button we'll give it a background color of e63946 and uh, we'll set the text decoration to none to remove the underlines and uh, we'll set the width to 160 pixels and the height to 42 pixels and uh, let's set a margin of 24 pixels top and bottom 0 for left and right and we'll also set a border radius to give it rounded corners so we'll just type 10 pixels over here All right we'll also add a box shadow but uh, we will add an inner box shadow so the box shadow will be inside this button so we'll type box shadow and for that you have to type inset and then we'll just add the values 0, 4 pixels, 15 pixels, RGBA, 0, 0, 0, and 0 0.2. Alright, now the next thing is that we have to position this text correctly. So whenever we hover over this, uh, we want this text to move up. So if you go to the original design, we can see that when we hover over this, the test text moves up and the completed text comes in. So for that we have to set the position of this after element relative to the button which is the parent. So let's go over here and uh, let's type position of this button to relative and uh, then we'll set the position of this uh, after element to absolute and uh, let's set the text align to center right now it is not working because uh, the width is not 100% so we'll set the width to 100% and uh, we'll set the font family to Roboto sans serif and uh, let's set the color of the text to white we'll set the font weight to bold and uh, we'll set the text transform to uppercase Alright, now to move it down a little bit, we will just add a line height and we'll set the line height to 2.5. Now, when we hover over this, uh, we want uh, this text to move up. So, let's add a hover state for this. So, we'll type btn dot test completed colon hover colon colon after. So, here we will type top position to negative 36 so I just tested with this number and uh, I think it works fine so if I hover over this we can see that the text moves up we cannot see it moving up so for that we will add a transition so we'll type transition of all to 400 milliseconds and we'll also set the top position to 0 over here so at the beginning the top position will be 0 and when we hover over it it will be negative 36 so let's hover over this and we can see it moves up in the same way you can go ahead and uh, set this to left as well so when you hover over this it will go to the left or to the right and the other text will appear All right, now the next thing you need to have is uh, another text so for that we'll be using the before element so just like we have the after element we can use the before pseudo element as well so let's go ahead and add it right here because uh, most of the styling will be the same so we'll just type btn dot test completed colon colon before and there are two things we need to change in before the first one is the text and the next is the top position so let's add that over here we'll type btn test completed colon colon before 
and we'll type content equals completed and the top position will set to 36 pixels which means that it is right now below this button so when you hover over this uh, we want to bring this text up so let me just copy this line of code and paste it over here and uh, instead of after we will type before and here we will type top zero All right now let's hover over this and uh, we have a typo over here All right now it should work when we hover over this we can see that the test goes up and the completed is displayed over here at the bottom and when we move the mouse cursor out of the button uh, the test text appears now we have a slight problem with this uh, let me just add a background color to the body and uh, we can see at the beginning the completed text is displayed over here and when we hover over the button the completed text is displayed over here but uh, the other text moves up and it is also being displayed so for that let's go over here in uh, the button which is the container division we will add one more property called overflow hidden so anything that is outside this button won't be visible so now we can see the completed text is not being displayed and when you hover over this it is being displayed All right so let me just remove this line of code so that's basically how you create a text changing button for your website so if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.